Hi, everybody. Andrea here. I've been the owner of Dental L Tutoring for about 18 years now. So an online tutoring company helping students pass the dental hygiene and the dental assisting board exam. A common question I get is when should I start to study for the board exam? Um, do you start to study a month before? Do you start to study a year before? What is kind of the track record of students passing versus students not passing and how their study plan was? So I tell students plan to study at least six months before the board exam. Ideally, a year would be fantastic. And I say that just because you can still be in school and study a little bit for the board exam per week. I'm talking maybe two hours if you have time, but it's not a big deal if you don't get to it every week. But studying for the board exam a year prior kind of helps you in school too, because you're learning your information for school, you know, tests, assignments, all of your, you know, classes, but you're also taking separate notes on what you need to know for the board exam to kind of like, oh, this is really important. You know, Andrea tells me inside the course that this is what I have to know for the board exam on oral pathology. And you might be in class now for oral pathology. Well, you're going to know which notes to take on the side that are specific to the board exam if you study a year before. But I tell students at least six months before because a year before most of you probably aren't even thinking about the board exam and I don't blame you. You have classes, you'll have clinicals, all of that to kind of think about. But six months at least, because I find students that start to study for the board exam a couple months before only, they get stressed. They get overwhelmed. And those are the ones that do not pass because they feel like they have to learn so much material in such a short time. They put so much pressure on themselves that they're studying eight hours a day every day before school, you know, after school that adds up to eight hours and then they're exhausted. Your schoolwork tends to suffer a little bit too. You end up not passing the board exam because you're just exhausted and you can't figure out why. So six months before is perfect because you're at that point in school where it's a little easier than six months prior and you're able to study at least an hour a day for the board exam for six months. That is completely manageable. And I have a board exam prep academy course that tells you exactly what to study, what topics per week and per month to make it even easier for you. So you can kind of formulate your, your own study plan of what classes, tests you have in school, and then what you need to study for the board exam that month. It's entirely manageable. Those students that come to me a couple months before, it is still possible to study for the board exam, absolutely, but I always tell them, you know, you can't be lazy because you only have a couple months, so let me help you formulate a very intense study plan because your goal is to pass for exam but six months before is just easier for everybody you can take it slow and learn everything that you have to know for the board exam so if you're interested in dental hygiene tutoring or dental assisting tutoring for the board exams i offer that for you all my courses are fully online you get mock exams case studies you get me teaching you the actual topic so you don't just have to read more notes I'm actually teaching it to you, making it more exciting. I think that's what students tell me, and I am here to help. There are also interactive quizzes inside the course. So it tells you right away if you get a question wrong or if you get a question right, and it's on all the topics you have to know for the board exam. Nothing more and nothing less. Don't read your textbook for the board exam. There's too much info in your textbooks. It will drive you crazy. So I definitely recommend a tutoring course. Comment below or please reach out to me on the website if you have any questions. I am very happy to help. Thank you guys for watching. Click like if you do like this video because that helps me kind of know what people want to watch and what other videos I should do more of. So thank you for watching, you guys. Happy Monday, and I'll talk to you in the next one.